Hi everyone, welcome back to the Book Vandal Shop. I have a project share for you today. Uh, this is uh, made using the digital kit from Marie at After Midnight Design. She uh, so graciously allowed me to use the English Rose Garden um, digital kit that she has in her shop and this is what I've come up with. Um, so let's jump into it. So we have some pink sorry ribbons here on the cover, two signatures and a beaded spine. Um, I went with a um, kind of a faux quilted cover. Um, you know, I didn't go through and quilt um, between each individual piece. Rather, I um, put buttons on, you know, so I, I um, tied the buttons through and that kind of did the, you know, the quilting um, there. So it is two layers of, of fabric and then um, the batting in between. Sorry, I'm lost for words today. Um, and the, the cream collared fabric here, this is a very old linen. Um, it's from, I'm not sure if this came from the tablecloth or some placemats. I don't know, I, I had the fabric, but it is some, some pretty old um, linen fabric. So that is what is on the inside and the outside. Okay. And the, the rose fabric, it just tied in very well, but I don't think that's vintage. I mean, if it is, it's probably from the 90s, 1990s. <laughs> okay, let's jump in. Like I said, two signatures, uh, six by nine, roughly um, 108 pages, uh, you know, sides. Um, the kit, again, was called English Rose Garden from After Midnight Design, and I will make sure that I put Marie's links below. Um, okay, so let me zoom on down just a smidgen here so you can see the details a little better. It may cut off the pages, but at least you'll be able to see better. So I've put some trim here on the edges, and you may have already seen this little embellishment as I posted it on Instagram. Um, but it's this little tiny envelope. And then we have a little cottage round tag there and some bits and pieces of material. And uh, inside the envelope is a little tiny letter that I've just stamped um, some words on. There we go. And you could glue that in if you wanted to or take it out. I've just, I've left it just like that. Move my morning coffee out of the way. And uh, there are some book pages throughout, um, and they are from Pride and Prejudice, uh, Jane Austen book. Um, because to me, this just reminded me of Jane Austen. Um, you know, it was English Rose Garden, um, the shabby, you know, cottage house, um, kind of like, you know, the, the Bennets have. And so, I don't know, it just... To me, it begged to have some Jane Austen thrown into it, so that's what I went with. The dyed wax paper you'll see throughout, and the dyed paper, I think this was onion skin and hibiscus or rose hips, I don't remember. Um, those are all from Lisa. So everything in here is uh, her papers, and then Marie, um, after midnight, designed did the digitals. Okay, try to stop talking now. the sound of uh, gentle snoring in the background okay not so gentle but that would be blue our beagle he always has to make his appearance in videos snoring this is um, the actual vintage music paper it's not a not a digital I just love that sound Isn't that pretty? See, it just it just reminded me of, of just straight out of the Pride and Prejudice book. So 
Here's a little quote out of it, probably my most favorite um, in the book, and maybe the most often quoted, I'm not sure. Vanity and pride are different things, though the words often used, the words are often used synonymously. A person may be proud without being vain. Pride relates more to our opinion of ourselves, vanity to what we would have others think of us. And that's just so true. So I have to say, I've probably now read that book, I don't know, 15, 20 times. Um, it was one of my favorite Jane Austen books anyway. Um, and then it just seems like every time I deconstruct um, one of those books or every time I... I use a few pages from it. I end up rereading the whole book again. You know, I get distracted and go down a rabbit hole, and I've before long I've reread the whole book again. So I don't. I couldn't tell you how many times I've I've read the book. I've just put some washi tape on on the music page um, there and in the spine, um, just because it was pretty old and I didn't want it to to crack and break off um, for you. So, but yeah, Mr. Darcy and I we're. We, uh, we know each other quite well from all the times I've read the book. <laughs> so I have to say, I don't identify with Jane as much as I probably uh, identify more with Mrs. Bennett. Uh, she's just, I don't know, sassy and spunky and... Okay, and then the second signature here. I mean, aren't these digitals just gorgeous? So we have a tag pinned on here. We have a little tag within the tag. Tucks right back there. And then this is only here to hold the flap of the envelope down, though it's been on there long enough now that um, it stays down pretty well without it. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. And in here, I've just cut down some uh, printed card stock there for a little journaling card. Tuck that away. And here on the back, we just have a couple more tickets. And some pretty grungy card stock there. Yeah. <laughs> Am I disturbing you, Blue? Cutting into your nap time. Okay, so here we have a, it's a, a, a business envelope, junk mail envelope with a window. And uh, I've just put some book page inside there to show through. And just a, a trifold piece of writing paper to write on in there. And then behind this little band here, there's a little tuck spot. I just have placed a, a um, journaling card and then I took some of the book pages and I just I shrank them down and printed them into kind of this little booklet um, and put long ribbons on it or I bound it with the ribbons actually um, and my thinking behind that was that it just I don't know it kind of reminded me like of a little um, dance card booklet from back in the times when they would have balls and and they would have dance cards and it, I believe dance cards were probably a little bit later in history than Pride and Prejudice time. I think that, that was a little bit before dance cards, but let's just go with it. <laughs> and then we just have a journaling card folded. And pinned on there. And then we have a tag here that I, I have glued down and made a tuck spot. Some word fetty here. Some of Lisa's dyed paper there that I've just folded and stenciled a rose on.
And there's the center of the signature. Another piece of journaling paper. I didn't go with a lot of tags um, in this journal because I really wanted it to be a writing journal. Um, I wanted it to be pretty, but I, I really just wanted it to be a writing journal. And to me, paper is more conducive for actually journaling on um, than a lot of pretty tags. I mean, tags are pretty, um, but yeah. So in here we have a little journaling card, love some space to write on it. And then that shows through in the window envelope here. And then a little wax seal. Boy, the birds are chirping outside this morning. They are happy. The sun is shining. The robins are back in my yard. So spring is on the way. And here I did make a tag, um, but I made a folded tag, so there's plenty of room to write in it. It's a book page on the back there. This is another one of the envelopes, and then this tag here pulls out. And I have left it, it blank here so you can see that it's actually, you know, an envelope. So I know a lot of times we, we always cover that up, but I thought, eh, it's kind of cool to leave it and let it show through as an envelope. I just have a piece of washi tape here decorating it here and here. And on this large tag, there's room for journaling on the back. There's a little spot to journal inside here. And then you could journal here. And then there's just a little small tag and ticket here tucked in. I'll put that back in later. Lots of tabs. I don't know if you've noticed that, but lots of tabs, fabric and paper, and um, I used tickets. I would fold those over and, and make little tabs out of those. So. Okay, last page, and then there's my little book label here. And then here in the back, I've included a little small um, journaling booklet with some beads hanging off of the twine that I used to bind it. And I took the, they were uh, file folder uh, printables in her kit. And I took two of them and I sewed them together and, and made them a cover, made them a, a, that had a pocket in the front and the back of the cover. So I just put some random pieces of paper in here. The diary page here is from 1962. It is in original, it's not a copy. And then there's some journaling cards here in the back. And some journaling cards here in the front. There's three or four of them in the front, three or four of them in the back for you to use in the journal. And just ties back up. I, uh, I went with a a very lightweight cover for this journal because I really wanted um, to kind of match um, the delicate um, feminine uh, design of the the papers of the rose kit that she had done you know it's 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 just it's very feminine very delicate and um, you know I just I didn't want that to get lost in a in a bulky um, cover so that's why I went with a, a very delicate cover here on the front so Okay, I think that's all of it. Again, the kit, the kit is English Rose Garden from After Midnight Design. Um, so I will make sure that I put Marie's links below. So make sure that you um, go check out her shop. And Lisa, she did the uh, dyed papers in there. So I'll put her links below. Make sure you check her out. And let's see, today is Saturday, March the, I think it's the 6th. Um, and so I will 
Uh, I'm trying to think when I'll have this available. I'll have it available sometime tomorrow on Sunday, so make sure you check out the description box below, and, I, and I'll make sure that when I publish this, I, I put that in the description box, okay? All right, so uh, I'll be back very, very soon, probably today, with a tutorial and um, maybe a little project share. Okay, see you guys really soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.